Good Saturday morning, everybody, from the News Channel 3 Weather Center in downtown Memphis. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with our latest edition of News Channel 3's video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Thanks for joining us on this Saturday, the 15th of October, halfway through the month of October, and things are still going to be warm across the Mid-South. How warm? Well, in the red forecast bar on the bottom of your screen, we're looking again at temperatures back in the 80s again today, and low temperatures for tonight only back into the 60s in the green triangle down there. Mostly clear skies today. Tonight should be some good stargazing weather, some patchy fog early this morning, but otherwise temperatures will be on the rise as we get into the next several day hours of the day today and into the next several days. Temperatures a lot warmer than this could be a bit of a problem for outdoor activities. Chances of showers and thunderstorms coming our way from a storm system out across the west coast state that used to be a typhoon. We'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit. A little foggy this morning around Windyke Country Club as the golfers are out and about this morning and temperatures on the rise as the fog and the clouds begin to burn off across much of the area back in the lower to mid 80s across much of the area. Cough temp decks for this morning, cool enough for a hot cup of java early this morning, but as you go into the rest of the afternoon, probably an iced frothy coolness would be a very good idea for later on this morning. Mississippi River is at 8.16 above the zero stage and expected to do a nice drop over the next several hours plenty of sunlight out there, but as you can see, a little bit of fog cover across much of the Mississippi Valley early Saturday morning. Earthquakes in the Mid-South, nothing to report at this time directly in the News Channel 3 viewing area, according to the United States Geological Survey and from the Center for Earthquake Research and Information from the University of Memphis. Tim B's webcam around Collierville, a little bit of hazy conditions out across parts of the area. The Ole Miss Student Union cam, things are looking pretty nice out there for this morning, not too much in the area of the uh, close to Union Plaza and into areas around Ventress Hall, the red brick building that you see there just on the east side of campus. Numbers again looking pretty quiet where it comes to temperatures and also seeing less of the way of visibility problems from fog this morning. Heidelberg Elementary, a little bit of fog out there this morning. Likewise at Power Center Academy, a little bit more fog cover was taking place there. Olive Branch showing again a little bit of fog early this morning on former Mayor of Olive Branch Sam Reichard's webcam from City Hall and the view from Senatobia, Mississippi, which is where I was talking to students at Senatobia Middle or at Hernando Middle School, fairly close to that location. Fog this morning into much of the rest of the area. Almanac for today, moonrise occurred at, will occur at 727, be uh, rising again into again tomorrow at about 6, uh, 729 a.m. and it'll be almost full out there and it'll be setting uh, into and around the area of tomorrow morning at about 729, setting today at 619. We're losing daylight again about two minutes worth as we go throughout the rest of the days coming up. 708 the sunrise time on Sunday, 623 the sunset time as we go into tomorrow night, 624 the sunset time this evening. It's temperature of 67 degrees, well below normal for this time of the year. It would be nice to keep that around, but unfortunately temperatures will be on the increase in the next few days, so that cool down was nice, as was the rainfall. Over an inch of rain at Memphis International, and that brought us down to a deficit of about half an inch for the month instead of nearly two inches out there, so that gave us a nice little boost of rainfall, and we're still about 12 inches ahead for the year thanks to all that rain that we picked up several days, several weeks ago back into around areas of February and March. Through mid-morning, temperatures rising, clouds diminishing, and wind continue out of the south. Numbers back in the lower to mid 80s by the time we hit early this afternoon and into dinner time tonight. Temperatures back around the lower to mid 80s. Sunset time and afterwards through about the mid evening hours, upper 60s to lower 70s and through about midnight into around tomorrow morning about News Channel 3 daybreak back into the lower to mid 60s, mid 60s for the metro area with that nice little heat effect going on. Lower 80s today, mostly sunny and warm as we get into later on this afternoon. Warmer as we get into this afternoon, this evening and into around tomorrow as well and temperatures is approaching 90 degrees for both Monday and Tuesday. Now looking at Wednesday and following, that's where we see our new storm system coming our way, but it will be crossing the Rocky Mountains, which could be slowing things down by just a little bit, and that means this forecast of rainfall you see for Thursday and Friday, 30% on Thursday, 40% on Friday, could be delayed as we get 
into next weekend, which means we could see the bulk of the rainfall going on through Saturday and Sunday. Could also speed up, so we see rainfall late Tuesday, early Wednesday, but as of right now, much of what we're going to be looking for is going to be the possibility of seeing temperatures back into, again, the lower 50s for lows by next weekend. But until then, for high temperatures, we will be back into the mid to upper 80s across much of the area. So very warm, very much above normal for this time of the year. Check in with the forecast throughout the weekend on the EAB network on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. And don't forget to tweet me any pictures you see out there for weather purposes. We'll share them on News Channel 3 when we have time. Aonic underscore WREG3. Great opportunity for you to show off your photography skills. And don't forget about our app. Search WREG Weather at your particular phone's app store. Quiet again, but very warm for the next couple of days. No major change in the weather until we hit about mid to late week. And we'll see what that typhoon, that former typhoon, does as it makes its way through the Cascades of the upper areas of the northwest United States and through the Rockies as it goes a little bit closer to us here in the Mid-South. That's where we may see some change coming our direction. Questions, concerns, comments, ideas, anything like that across the area? that you'd like to see for this video weather blog, send me an email at austin.onic at wreg.com and we'll be glad to see what we can do about featuring it when we have time. Another update on your forecast coming up later tonight on News Channel 3 at 5, 6, and 10 and again tomorrow morning on News Channel 3 Daybreak. I'm meteorologist Austin Onic. This has been the latest edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Over Time. Thanks for joining me and stay tuned for more weather updates throughout the rest of the day with News Channel 3 on air and online.